Hey guys, today I am going to talk about the trend. The trend is to get hyper political and write and deface your Teresa Nielsen cards. Not to always talk about Teresa Nielsen, but I think it is relevant in terms of where we are as a society at the time. Autumn Bruccelli, who is identifies as non-binary, canceled the beloved art artist, Teresa Nielsen, who obviously did the Force of Will cards. Very few people in the community stood up and said this is not acceptable. I was probably the only one, really. And obviously I took a lot of backlash for it. But in time, I think I'm right. As more time passes, Autumn Bruccelli is a nobody in Magic the Gathering. Uh, they were promoting Day Dem's Twitch stream. I looked for Autumn Bruccelli and she's nowhere to be found. In fact, none of the NPL members have more than a hundred live concurrent viewers at any given time. The NPL was a massive fail. The project was to throw a hundred million dollars at these individuals, make them to pseudo celebrities and Magic the Gathering. And empower them. I mean, they were so empowered. Actually, one of them canceled an artist. I mean, you, you can't really make this stuff up. But that was the cancel culture at the time. They since have removed the NPL. And I haven't heard anything from any of them ever since. Uh, many of them may have deleted their social media. Many of them may have gone to other ventures. But I can pretty much tell you very few of them actually still play Magic today. You can go on Twitch. And they all... Part of this deal, so they were paid a full-time salary and then allowed to do other stuff. Part of the deal that they did receive was a associated with having to stream a certain amount of hours. And part of that deal, again, was related to promoting their streams, getting lots of viewers, doing collabs. And none of them, none of the NPL today even make, uh, even have 10 concurrent viewers they no longer play mtg arena it's basically a waste of money in terms of a marketing effort the only thing that remains is people defacing Teresa nielsen cards unfortunately that's all the npl was that's all the npl will be remembered for and that's a very very sad thing in my personal opinion now NPL side, I, I do think that I have to mention here that what the cards are actually saying, solidarity with DPRK, which is the Democratic Party of Republic of Korea. It's basically North Korea, solidarity with Palestine, trans rights, and then abolish ICE, which is the immigration for the U.S., so this individual thought, and then he also crossed out Teresa Nielsen's name, which is, for an artist, quite disrespectful, right? You know, artist signature on their artwork. I mean, imagine crossing out Michelangelo or Da Vinci's name on a artwork, right? It just is absolutely, as an artist myself, it's probably the most despicable thing that somebody can do to your artwork. No, I'd rather have a giant X on it because, again, that's your signature. It means that you did it. You put the work. You put the effort into it. So somebody crossing it out. Now, what's kind of odd is there are so many copies of Force of Will right now that don't have this artwork. So the dude is not going to get a new copy. He, he's so offended that he doesn't want to go out and trade his old copies for new copies. I, I'm, I'm sure he could straight up trade them. Uh, and he instead, he wants to feel important, he wants to feel loved and respected by the Magic community, and this is what they decide to do. Huh. You know, I have not played Magic in a long time, and uh, I did not play Magic since uh, Teresa Nielsen. I still collected Magic, but I didn't go out to play since she got basically canceled by Alden Bruccelli. I knew Magic wasn't for me. I didn't go to no pre-releases. I didn't go to anything. Um, maybe I play EDH with my friends at home, but that's it. I didn't do any, um, GP Fast, Magic, whatever. They've got a million different names for it right now. And at the end of the day, I'm not going to until Teresa Nielsen is re-put in. And at no expense, Artem Buccelli is a nobody in Magic the Gathering. 
they them just you know it was interesting or autumn Bruchelli MTG let me let me look at her social media autumn Bruchelli versus LSV round two pro tour no views no one gives a shit um if I google her name or they sorry I sorry autumn I google they them name um she has 2.1k followers on Twitter and you know they they love mother effing Twitter man they love mother effing Twitter and um here's the Twitch oh she has a new Twitch okay she's got a Twitch a YouTube a Patreon of course they have they them have Patreons why am I shocked uh the Patreon has 36 members more members than my Patreon so uh, good on that, right? Um, and uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel has a hundred uh, 1,077 subscribers. Her last videos, let me click on videos, had 369 views a month ago, 112 views a month ago. 68 views a month ago. Now, the length of these videos are hilariously long. They're uh, an, a mi an hour and 17 minutes, an hour and 21 minutes, two hours, two hours and 10 minutes worth 103 views a month ago, an hour and 18 min minutes with 162 views. This is a, you know, I make fun of MetaZoo content creators, but man, they've been pulling the numbers compared to this channel. I mean, four months ago, 58 views. See, making. She's making a shit ton of like very long videos. Like people ask, how do I have time to shit on it? I mean, I this this is an eight minute video, guys. If I were to make, I, I get it, man. If I were to make a two hour video that got sixty eight views a month ago, vintage cube draft, like in that two hour span, I could make. I mean, whatever one twenty divided by eight is a lot. I, it's definitely more than ten. Is it like 15? I can make 15 videos, man, in the time it took her to make one. That is motivation. Now I go on to Twitch. Hopefully it's not active. She probably took her Twitch channel. Oh, 12.5. But what do the views look like, right? Uh, not great. Not great. Less than eight, eight, 883 views yesterday on a free hour Twitch thing. 1.1 views, right? I understand what happened. Um, she changed the name of her Twitch channel. It used to be named something different. And now, you know, they're trying to make money from Twitch and Patreon stuff like that. Recent highlight videos, 43 views 10 months ago. But she took her old channel, deleted all the MPL stuff, and then just kept all the subscribers. But what happens is they're no longer, like, you change the name of your channel. It's like what I did with Umu. Nobody knows who the fuck Umu is, right? They're like, where's MTG Lion? Well, you lose all the, that subscriber. You lose, you have to begin from scratch again. You got to begin from scratch again. And it's not um, great. So this is where $100 million went. It went down to basically almost no views. Thanks, Autumn. Thanks.